My name is Ruel Kwanza and I'm an artist. One time, four-year-old me sitting in the living room watching Cartoon Network. No, it wasn't Cartoon Network, it was Jungle Book, so it was Disney. Yeah. So I was sitting there and I saw the, um, this tiger character, Shere Khan. And for the strangest reason, I just really wanted to draw him really bad. I felt like if I didn't draw him, I would die. And I was four. So I kept trying and really trying to draw him. I'll pause the movie, try and draw him, but it wasn't getting right. Then my dad walked by, then he saw what I was doing. He laughed. I'll never forget, he laughed. And then um, he took the pen from me, then like he sketched it out properly for me, then gave it back to me. Then I started tracing. And I just never stopped after that. I kept trying to draw that same tiger over and over. And one day I was like, I am in love with art. My creative process is, it usually first starts with um, a feeling. I know people say don't create things off of feelings um, sometimes because your feelings are, um, they are unreliable most of the time. You can feel this way and that, but I feel that's what like um, pushes me to do. Mine, if I feel a certain way, I'm going to paint a certain way. Then that feeling makes me pick up a pencil and I start drawing just really like, you know, whatever comes to my mind. And once I have a full picture in my head of what I want, I um, pick references if I can draw it straight from my head. If I want to draw a bunny rabbit eating a flower, I would like look for a picture of a bunny rabbit, then I'll look for a picture of a really good flower. I think like take off of that, the whole color lighting, paint the mood of the thing and put it together and then boom i brought my idea to life uh, i wouldn't tag myself as a specific kind of artist i mean i would tell you that i draw and i paint but then if i feel if i tell you i am a i'm a charcoal artist or i'm a, an acrylic artist or i'm just a painter it kind of limits it limits what i'm doing so i prefer to just call myself an artist i would do any kind of arts that picks my interest i've done sculpting i've done um i think i've done paper mache strange things I've, I've made a swan out of foil before so you know when i was younger i would give i would give this deep thing when they ask me what inspires you to draw i'll give oh it just makes me um you know people have deep stories and stuff but then after like proper self-evaluation i don't know i would tell you that what inspires me to keep drawing is the pure passion for it i just really have this urge to always create something i try to paint with meaning i try to paint like how um, art defines you i think yeah i try to be deep <laughs> yeah but then deep down for me personally i just really wanted to experiment and see what i could come up with people usually require um, react to my art like uh, oh wow they always taken aback by it and that's actually what made me realize i could draw because i just i started drawing because i like drawing i didn't think i knew how to but then people's reactions and feedbacks made me realize oh i can actually draw Aside from art, the only other thing I do as much or maybe even more is dancing. I like singing too. And I make music as well, but at least like instrumentals produced and stuff. I want people to take away from art what the art means to them, right? I want people to not try to bend their own perception of my art to what I meant it to be. Right? I want them to see an artwork and say this makes me feel a certain way and I don't want them to I don't want to tell them oh no that's that's not what it means this is actually what it means if that's what the art means to you then that's what it is <laughs>